What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to take a look at how to calibrate the IMU inside of the Mavic Pro. Now we did one of these videos just a couple of days ago, except that one was on the Phantom 4 Pro. And with the Mavic Pro, the steps are fairly similar, but I figured I'd make a whole new video for the Mavic Pro just because it's a different body style. Some of the clips and commentary are going to be fairly similar to the ones from the Phantom 4 Pro video. I figured I'd bring them over just because I did a pretty good job at explaining what the IMU actually is as well as when you should calibrate it. But for when we get to the part where I show you how to actually calibrate it, it is going to be different as the Mavic Pro is a totally different drone. So guys, that's enough for this introduction. Let's get into the video. Now, IMU, or Inertia Movement Unit, is a single electronical unit inside of the drone that houses two individual sensors. Now, if you're a tech junkie like me, you'll want to know that the first sensor is an accelerometer triad, which ultimately deals with the acceleration of the drone. The second sensor is the angular rate sensor triad, which has to do with the angular rate of the drone. Now, if you're an average person and you don't know what all those terms mean, basically it compiles information to make sure that the drone is balanced. Without a properly calibrated IMU, there are a few things that can go wrong. For example, the drone may not fly in the direction you want it to, and when it's hovering, it may be drifting around rather than staying in one spot. Now you may be wondering when you need to calibrate your IMU, and I just want to let you guys know that you don't need to do it before every single flight. If you needed to, you'd be there forever and would probably never make it into the air, but there are a few scenarios in which you will want to calibrate your IMU. The first time you want to calibrate your IMU is right when you get it out of the box. Before your first flight, you always want to make sure that the compass as well as the IMU is calibrated as it has traveled a long way from the manufacturer. Another reason that you may want to calibrate your IMU is if you see small errors popping up on the left side of the screen. As you guys know, you get little notifications that get in the way and you need to tap the X, and sometimes it's about the sensors, so therefore you always want to do a little calibration of the IMU. If the little alert on the left side is something about like high wind or anything that doesn't have to do with sensors, there's no reason to go through a full IMU calibration. The final reason that you'll want to do an IMU calibration is if your drone is acting up. Let's say you're trying to hover in one spot and it's kind of drifting around, or if you're trying to tell it to go straight and it's kind of veering off to the side, you may want to try an IMU calibration to fix those problems. And now that we're finished going over all of that information, now let's get into how we can actually calibrate the IMU. First, we're going to want to remove the battery and let the drone sit. This is known as a cold IMU calibration. Now, there's two meanings to cold. Some people just want the drone to cool down after flying, and others actually mean cooling the drone. You don't want to put it in a fridge or a freezer as this could damage some of the parts inside, but some people will usually put it in a cold garage or a nice air-conditioned room. I really have no comment as far as cooling the drone as I don't usually do this, but I have found just letting my drone sit around for 20 minutes after flying it to be perfect. If you haven't been flying your drone and you're just taking it out of storage, then I see no reason to have to let it cool down before you start. Next up, we're going to want to find a completely flat surface for the IMU calibration to begin. Now, we really want to make sure that this is completely flat, as if it's just a little bit off, we could throw the whole entire calibration of the drone off. I would highly recommend getting a level or even a level app on your smartphone or iPad. One thing to be aware of, with some cell phones, it has a little camera bump on the back, which could throw off the leveling, so I'm going to use my iPad, as there's no camera bump on the back. Because you need such a level surface, I'd highly recommend doing this at home, at your desk, rather than out in the field. Like with all other calibrations and updates, we want to make sure that the drone battery is charged to at least 50%. Next, we want to boot up the remote controller and open the DJI GO app. From here, we'll click on the three dots in the top right corner to open the general settings. Click on main controller settings and scroll down until we see advanced settings. Once we click on the advanced settings, we'll scroll down until we see sensors. Click on sensors and we'll see the little button right there that says calibrate IMU. Once we have the remote controller ready to hit calibrate IMU, we can go ahead and turn the Mavic Pro on. There's one thing we do need to be aware of, and that is that the arms need to be folded during the IMU calibration, as it's going to be hard to put it on its side if the arms are extended. Once the gimbal is finished doing its initial calibration, we can go ahead and click calibrate IMU. Once the IMU begins calibrating, we'll need to go through a certain set of steps by tilting the drone in different ways. We always want to make sure that the drone is tilted the same way as depicted on the screen. Following along the on-screen instructions should be good enough, but if you'd like, you can follow along in this video.
calibration is finished, all we need to do is restart the drone, and there you are, you're set, the IMU has been fully calibrated. So guys, that about wraps this video up, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I haven't tried to upload daily. Also make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever about the IMU calibration. It is fairly straightforward, but I know that it can be confusing at some points. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!